Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to see how to send the data from Logstash to AWS S3. I have divided this session in two parts. First is the S3 related configuration in AWS. That is a demo part. And the second is send data from Logstash to S3. So that is also the demo part. So let's begin our session. First, let's complete the S3 related configuration in AWS. In this part, we will see how to create the S3 bucket in AWS, how to create the IAM user, and how to generate the access key and the secret key. So let's move on to the AWS website. First, you need to open the AWS website. So here I have already opened. Then you need to log in with your account. Let's click on sign into the console. And here you need to enter the email ID. Submit this. It will ask for the password. So here I will enter the password. Let's click on sign in. I have logged in with my account. Now you need to go to the S3 service. If you don't see the S3 service here, you can search here like this S3. And you can click on this S3. Now we need to create the bucket, S3 bucket. So let's click on create bucket. Here you can give any name to the bucket. So I will use this one. Then you can choose the region as per your location. So I will use the Asia. And then you need to keep the default setting as it is and click on the create bucket so bucket creation is in progress so you can see successfully created bucket this once bucket is successfully created you will see this here now let, let's move on to the next step now we need to create the iam user search here iam and you need to click on this service After clicking on IAM service, you will see the navigation, left navigation, and you need to click on the users. And then you need to click on the add users. Here you need to give the name of your user. So I will use this name. And then you need to click next. Now you need to set the permission to this particular user. We need to set permission related to S3 so that user can delete the message from S3 send the message to S3 basically can perform all the operations related to S3 for now we will directly attach the policy so we will use this option then here you need to search the policy which you want to attach with this particular user so we want to attach the policy related to S3 so you can enter s3 here and you will find so many policies related to s3 so you need to use this amazon s3 full access means this user will have full access on the s3 then you need to select this then you need to click next create user so user created successfully so this is the next step to create the user now next step is to get the access key and secret key related to this user so that our application like log test or any other application can access the s3 can perform the operations related to s3 so we need to create the access key and the secret key let's click on this user and here you will see the security credentials click on the security credentials then you need to go to this option access keys you need to click on the create access key for which purpose you want to create the access key i will use the access key to access s3 bucket from my local system from the log test after 
selecting the this option you need to click this and then click next this is optional you can leave this as it is and click on create access key now you can see the access key created successfully so this is the access key and this is the secret key both keys are important you don't have to share with anyone and we will use these key in our Logistics application to access the S3 to perform the operations on the S3 that I am going to show you next so you need to copy both these key so for now so I am copying both this is the access key for the demo purpose only I am just sharing these keys but after the demo I will delete the keys from my account so I have copied both these keys this is the access key and this is the secret key now we are done with the portion related to AWS now we will move on to the Logistics configuration we will see Logistics related configuration and we will see demo how to send the data to the S3 so first let me draw the data pipeline here so we will have one CSV file that CSV file will be read by the file wheat. Here we have file wheat. Then file wheat will send the event CSV event to the logest test. Logest test. Then logest test will apply the filters filters and then it will send the output to console as well as to AWS S3 AWS S3 so this is the data flow of our application I will show the demo of this so this is the CSV file we will use for the demo this is the file with related configuration file file bit will read the data from C csv file this csv file is present in this location then file bit will send the data on this port where log test would run this is the configuration which we discussed in our previous videos number of times so we are using the same configuration now let's move on to the important configuration related to s3 in the log test file this is the logest test file the here the input component will receive the data from file bit and this is the filter and these filter would be applied so these are the optional ones and this is the C and this is the CSP filter which would be used to parse the CSP data which file bit will read from the CSP file then logist test will send the data to the output component and here we have a two output component a standard output that is console and s3 so logist test will send the data on standard output as well as on the s3 this is the configuration related to s3 let's see one by one important attributes related to s3 output plugin so here this is the access key id here you need to enter the access key which we have generated in the aws then here you need to in this attribute you need to enter the secret key this secret key we also generated there a region in which region you have created this bucket so let's see in which region we have created the bucket this is our bucket and you can see in the properties the region is this let's copy this then the name of the bucket so name of the bucket is name of bucket you need to use this in that s3 configuration now the codec property so codec property is used to format the data in particular format so here we are using the json lines means 
it will format the data in the json format so json lines is a plugin i already installed to explain these properties let's move on to the dashboard suppose this is your log status log status and here is your s3 so when this log status send any data to s3 first it store the data in the temp directory so it will store the data in temp directory then it moves the data from temp directory to s3 so in the temp directory it creates the dot txt file txt file and in that txt file it saves the data and that txt file it transferred or sent to the s3 now what would be the location of the temp directory so by default it uses the temp directory created by the operating system but if you want to give the temp directory of your choice then we have a property called temporary directory so using this property you can mention the now let's see the use of these two property rotation strategy and size file now the point is when log status will decide that it needs to send the file to the s3 is it immediately after creation of the text file or it waits for some time so here rotation strategy comes into the picture so let's see what is that so in this demo i have used the rotation strategy as size you can see here if we are using the rotation strategy as size it will use this size field in the size field we mention the size of the file in bytes so so here we are using 2048 bytes so this txt file created in the temp directory would not be sent to the s3 until the size reaches to 2048 once the size of this txt is reaches to 2048 it would be transferred to s3 and then the log status will create a new txt file in the temp directory once the size of the new file is reaches to 2048 bytes again the log status will transfer the file to the s3 and it will again create the new txt so this is how the rotate rotation strategy works there is one more rotation strategy is time so in this session we are only using the size so we have discussed all these necessary configuration required to send the data from log status to s3 I will commit both these configuration files along with the data file csv file in the github and will share the link in the description of the video. Now let's start our log status server and file read server and see if log status is sending data to s3 or not. Here I have launched the win folder of log status and we are going to restart the server log status server. So this is the command. In this command we discussed number of times in our previous videos so here you can see name of the log status configuration file ml let's press enter and let's wait for the server to be up and running meanwhile let's start the file bit so here i have launched the file bit location in the command prompt let's start the file bit server so this is the command to start the file bit server this is the name of the configuration file this is the configuration file which we already discussed this is the configuration file file bit configuration file and this is the log status configuration file let's press enter and let's wait for the file bit to be up and running and just at the moment i have removed the data from csv file and once our server is up and running i will add the data this data one by one in the csv file so you can see file bit started file bit start running 
now let's check the logester server yeah you can see logester server also started now just to highlight at the time of starting of the server logester check the connection with the s3 using the property we have mentioned in the logester configuration file this property so when server is started logester check the connection with the s3 if it if it is not able to connect to s3 then it will throw the error at the time of starting of the server so in our console we have not received any error at the time of starting means logistess is able to connect to the s3 now let's add the data in the csv file and see if it is sending that data to the s3 bucket or not this is the s3 bucket and it is empty now let's add the data in the csv file so i am adding few csv lines in the file these are the lines i have added now i am saving this file now let's see the temp directory if any file created or not so you can see one file is present here yeah so you can see how many entries are here four so four entry we added in the csv file and the text file is created by log test with these four entries now let's wait if it is being sent to the s3 or not i think it is not being sent because the file size is still not 2kb that's why log test has not sent that file to the s3 as per rotation strategy the file size should be 2kb then only it will move from temp directory to s3 since the file file size is not since the file size is only 1.62 kb that's why file has not been moved from here to s3 this we already discussed when we were talking about rotation strategy now let's add few more lines in the csv file copy this and let's change to 51 let's save this and let's wait yeah you can see the file the folder is empty and the file should be present in the s3 bucket now so let's check the s3 bucket let's refresh yeah you can see there is a file present here let's open this so there should be five record yeah you can see the five records are present one two three four five so five records are present so this is how the log test send the file to the s3 and we have also seen the rotation strategy use when the file was more than 2 kb only it was moved to s3 until then it was present in the temp directory only now let's see one more example i am adding few more lines in the csv file let's copy these records and paste here let's change one 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 let's save this let's save this now let's monitor the temp directory yeah you can see this folder created new folder created let's see the nothing present seems file already moved in the s3 bucket now let's refresh so there should be two files present yeah you can see two files present so this is how we can send the file to the s3 bucket so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video